Hi, I'm David Joachim. I'm here to give you some tips to make you a tailgating MVP. Because tailgating is huge these days. It used to be just people getting together in a parking lot, maybe some folding chairs, a couple hot dogs, some burgers, but now it's a big event. You know, it's almost like you're becoming a caterer. You're putting on a big party. So, what do you need to do? The most important thing is to remember the five P's. Prior planning prevents poor performance. Plan ahead. And that goes to everything from the gear you're gonna need to the food you're gonna have on your menu. You don't wanna be scrambling on game day to get all that stuff together. So it also helps to uh, keep some stuff on hand that's gonna make it a little easier for you. So to save time, have some ingredients that can do double duty, something like uh, some flavored sour cream dips. The hell of a good sour cream dips are really good in that department. The French onion is good as a dip for veggies, or you can spread it on a burger. You can slather it on grilled corn, maybe a little spicy ancho powder there. Um, it's, it's one of those things that can be a jack of all trades. So definitely keep some of those things on hand. And then for the main meal, you wanna have some options for your guests. And people are trying to eat lighter in some cases, so put an array of things out. You know, have some adobo marinated chicken breast. This is a great tip from Qdoba Mexican Grill to have all of these ingredients out for your guests so they can put together their own tacos or burritos. So I mentioned the adobo chicken. You could also have some flat iron steak that's grilled, some habanero salsa, a little guacamole, some pico de gallo, some other ingredients here that will inspire your guests with all the bright colors to put together something that they think is delicious. And you can go to qdoba.com for more recipe ideas, or if you're just a little tired of all the planning you have to do for your party, have them cater the whole thing. That'd be even easier. Some other things you want to think about. You have a lot of gear to get together, so keep a tailgating box in your garage. Whether you're going to go tailgating in the parking lot or in your living room, having a box with everything in it will make it easier on game day so you're not scrambling last minute. So I keep one of these in my garage. It's stocked with all the basics, paper plates and cups and utensils and uh, grill, grill tools, spatulas, that sort of thing. This year I'm stocking the solo heavy duty football themed cups and plates. The square ones are really good because they don't tip over. A lot, a lot easier on the parking lot um, rather than the round ones. So that's a good thing to have in your, in your tailgating box. And also, step up your menu a little bit. Think, of, think outside the box. You know, you want to think about something that people have not put on their menu before. My book, Fire It Up, has more than 400 recipes for things that you might not have thought to put on the grill, like grilled watermelon and grilled glazed donuts with chocolate espresso sauce. Really easy, but completely delicious and something that will surprise and delight your guests. So try that anytime you want to be a tailgating MVP. Think about your menu, plan ahead, do something a little different, and if you want more recipe ideas, go to DaveJoachim.com.